Hi there and welcome to this Roll On Tech Talk. I'm Casey Bartholomew and in today's video, I'm going to talk a little bit about two of Roll On's belt driven actuator systems. But before I dig in on the specifics of these units, I want to touch on some of the benefits of using belt driven actuators in general. Now belt driven actuators are a great cost effective option for implementing automated linear motion and they provide some distinct advantages over ball screw and rack and pinion driven actuators. Now ball screw driven actuators, while normally very precise and robust, are confined to those shorter stroke and slower speed applications just due to limitations of the ball screw. And rack and pinion driven actuators are generally far more expensive and difficult to maintain. Belt driven actuators can strike a really nice balance between price and performance and that makes them a great option for a wide range of applications. Now the first unit I want to highlight today is Roland's ELM, which is available in five different sizes. Here with me today is our ELM 50. Now to get into the specifics of this unit, this features a single linear rail with two slider blocks that connect to an external carriage. A steel reinforced polyurethane drive belt is housed inside the extrusion and used to transmit the rotational motion of the pulley into smooth linear motion of the carriage. Now one feature I want to highlight here is this black strip along the top, which isn't the drive belt, but it's actually a polyurethane seal strip that rides along the top of the extrusion and through the carriage and is kept in place by micro bearings inside of the carriage that help to reduce the resistance as the strip passes through and helps to make sure that proper seal is always maintained. Now the name of the game with the ELM is really environmental protection. In addition to this uh, seal strip, the ELM can be configured with uh, pressure ports and special corrosion resistant hardware that help this unit stand up to even the most demanding environments. But let's say you have an application that's got a fairly friendly operating environment, maybe just a standard factory with a bit of dust and debris here and there. You might not need all these advanced sealing features that the ELM offers. And this would be a great scenario to look at one of the ELM's close relatives Roland's eSmart actuator. Now the eSmart's another belt driven actuator, much like the ELM, except it's been stripped down and some of the sealing features and corrosion resistant features have been removed to provide a more economical option. We like to say that the eSmart provides about 90% the performance of the ELM at about 60% of the price. Now both Roland's eSmart and ELM are available with a wide range of accessories and customizable features. Each unit is cut to length and outfitted to meet the needs of each customer's specific application. And Roland's engineering team is always available to provide application support to make sure that you get the right actuator with the right features and accessories to help meet the goals of your application. Now if you're interested in learning more about Roland's eSmart or ELM, check out some of the links below in the bio or head on over to Roland.com where you'll find catalogs, product specs, and CAD models for these units. And if you like this video, please take a second to hit like and subscribe so you don't miss any of our upcoming Tech Talk videos. Thanks for watching.